Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies. In today's video, I want to show you guys my two blue Phalaenopsis orchids, blue mystique, I meant. One of them is purple. I want to share with you what my mother bought me for my birthday. So please, stay tuned. <laughs> So welcome back, Foul Pals. Now, as I was saying, this is a Mystique Orchid by SV. Now, some people who are beginners do not even know that this is actually called a Phalaenopsis. Okay, a Phalaenopsis, white or purple. They even are being honest with being um, color infused. Okay, now this right here is so beautiful. But I want to let you know, not only is this called a phalaenopsis, but it's also a white orchid that they have injected dye into. I've already done a video on it, but I'm not being ungrateful because this right here is the challenge that I've been waiting for. Now, my mom spent $25 per orchid. Now, that's what's so ridiculous because in actuality, these are orchids that have set us up for failure with all of this ink being injected into it. No way ink is great for a phalaenopsis, but this is such a huge phalaenopsis. I am so excited to see how I can care for it and if I would be able to maintain and whether or not it would rebloom in the color that it should be, okay? Now, mama is sorry that you guys are seeing other things, honey, but we, this is no judgment zone, honey. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. <laughs> but um, I love these orchids. I'm not going to complain at all. Um, I'm actually already surprised that the blooms have not faded, okay? I've had it ever since. Well, she purchased them before my birthday, so she's had them. I've had it. So we've transported them from location to location. No bud blast. So I'm already surprised and I'm very um, proud of my mom for picking out such a beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid. Okay. So stay tuned for the Pal, next. Pals, she actually got this from Walmart here in Alabama. Even though we are so close to Florida, which is one of the big major states to produce orchids or to receive them here in Alabama girl we are always the last to know the last on the list so that's where I come in at darling telling people why you should get a phalaenopsis and what to expect okay now that you have your first phalaenopsis that's a video to come darling but you have to stay tuned I just wanted to make sure to document for not only myself but for you guys, I mean, at the end of the day, this is beautiful and you can do this to any of your orchids at home, which I would not recommend. But here on Orchids for Dummies, we like to say each one, teach one. OK, we like to have the proof in the pudding. So we would like to do this as an experiment on a Phalaenopsis one day in the future. OK, all they do is add food coloring. But this is beautiful. It's, it's actually so beautiful to sit in front of a window seal. And when the sun hits it, it's actually amazing. All of these co discolorations in the roots, that lets you know um, that it's been injected with dye. You can see dye all over the leaves, okay? All over the leaves. And that's actually one of the things that sets you up for failure, um, they actually made two puncture wounds, one right here and one down there. That's where they injected the ink, okay? They did it two times after the first node, which is these little brackets right here. That's called a flower node, okay? That's a video to come as well. But as you guys can see, at the end of the day, it's very beautiful. Now, another setup for failure is... The type of media that it comes in, this right here, this potting mix, this is what we call orchid media. 
but you could actually say potted media because this is fairly much like dirt. Okay, so we're going to have a couple of care videos for all of my um, Mystique orchids, okay? But the pots alone was kind of worth it. It's, I um, collect all of my orchid pots from different orchids that I purchase. Sometimes I would purchase a clearance orchid just to get the pot, <laughs> just to get the pot. And this is a cute pot that you don't want to pot your orchid in. But it's, um, we like to keep our Phalaenopsis orchids. We like to keep our fowls, okay? That's what we call them um, for a nickname. We call them fowls. And here on Orchids for Dummies, because we have communication through talking about these beautiful Phalaenopsis, you are my new pal. So that's where I get the term fowl pal from. This is so much like dirt. This is not going to help the phalaenopsis roots to breathe, okay? And that's what these roots like to do. They like to have air. And as you can see, you have all of this media just sitting on top of these beautiful roots. So we're going to do a repotting of these, and that will be a video to come, okay? That's a video to come. So you definitely want to stay tuned. Well, thank you guys so much for staying tuned. Please stay tuned as this is a preview to my new Second Bloom Tour by Orchids for Dummies. So please like, comment, and subscribe to The People's Channel. The People's Channel. Orchids for Dummies! <laughs> Until next time. Until next time.